have a question that's yep. sort of unrelated, but you said um, uh, you have a background in what, bio? Yeah, so I, I, did my, I did my undergrad in biomedical engineering. So um, it's basically a medical electronics. So you learn a lot about uh, these sensors, like health sensors. You learn a lot about um, um, ECG, EKG, basically, um, how do you, you know, on neuroscience, basically, how you, how you get signals out of the body. To, to be able to predict a disease or be able to predict your cardio or your, how your brain activity works, etc. Et um, so I did a lot of I did a lot of lot of electronics with bio, and then when I when I moved to Cornell, I did basically a fundamental degree that's a double E, and um, um, I was I was hired at Apple to do their health sensors in the in the beginning. So. So the uh, health app in your iPhone, I was looking through it, there's like a lot of uh, data that you can enter in, like uh, there's like vitamin A, yeah. B levels. Like so the, so Apple, is, Apple is working on um, a, a focused, um, uh, so you as a person, you can enter your food, what are you eating, what your dietary restrictions are, um, what your um, what your diseases you think would have your, your blood glucose, your blood pressure, etc., etc. So the way you you can so the future would be to be able to have all the whole your body connected to these kind of health sensors, which will be able to track your uh, vital parameters every single day, and it'll be connected to your iPhone or watch, and you can have you can actually have like whole graphical uh, distribution of oh how my how my glucose is doing, body glucose, or how my blood pressure is doing. Is there something a concern? Um, with an Apple Watch, we found a really interesting case where uh, there was a person who was a regular soccer player, and um, he had a regular spike in his heart rate. Um, so he couldn't understand that, and he was actually using a watch. Before that, he didn't have a way to understand if he had, and he used to get tired after that spike. And uh, it happened to be he could he, in the in the phone, like so, your watch is connected to your phone. And seeing that regular spike, he just went to the doctor here, and it was in California only. And uh, <coughs> it happened to be his, he had, a, he had a problem with his heart muscle, and he was able to diagnose with a watch. So uh, something which is tracking your activities daily uh, will help you understand those, those corner cases where uh, it happens, but you can't even figure out that this is something a problem with you. So you can really do something cool with it. like. You can have a lot of other sensors connected to you, connected to you. like you can have uh, ECG devices, you can have, um, uh, you can measure your body resistance, you can measure your sweat, you can measure your, uh, uh, your blood glucose, you can measure your blood pressure, etc. Et 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 well, what piece of advice would you leave these young, wonderful minds with? Um, I think I think you guys are really smart, uh, and that's why you guys are here. Um, one thing would be to stay focused on whatever you do. Um, the earlier you start, the better it is. Um, you you guys have an opportunity of uh, of figuring things out and uh, doing hands-on engineering uh, before even you start engineering, which is you have an upper hand over a lot, a lot of students in, in, in US. So use that for the best. Focus on how you can build things on your own, how, can, how, how you can encourage people to do, do it yourself. Um, the more you build, the better you understand how technology works. And um, I think over time you will, you will, do, you will, you will build great stuff. Um, just, 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 just be hands on, that's important. Hands on, focus and everything else will be taken care of. Any other questions? Okay, thank you. I was talking to a mechanical engineer, um, and he said being hired in this doesn't matter how skilled you are. He said it matters on who you know. Like, I don't know, like going on into one of these tech jobs, like, oh, it's all pretty much who you know. Like, how do you make those connections? Do you make those connections in college? How do you uh, so it's do a very that? good question. Um, so, the way you make connection is basically by by proving that you are amazing. Uh, you are amazing at hands on. So the way you go about is uh, the way how I how I did was um, you basically 
um, the more you build products, the more you focus on um, real-time applications and solving real problems. And that's how you come under the under radar and eyes of these big companies or these great startups that, oh, you're solving something really interesting. And it merges with what they have been doing. Like what I, my projects were completely aligned with what Apple was doing. And that was one uh, good reason why they would want to hire me uh, than anyone who has better grades or a better school than me. Um, so connections is one thing. I would, I would the first two years of your career, uh, just focus on building great stuff. Uh, if you prove that you can do that, uh, connections would be the very easy. Just go about uh, adding people on LinkedIn, talking, going, going to a lot of uh, meetups, um, meeting a lot of people from technology. Um, you have a lot of meetups in California where there are virtual reality meetups, there are IoT, the Internet of Things meetups. So there you will find like-minded people and also the people from industry. So that's how you get connection, that's how you get recommended to big companies or even startups, and that's how we move ahead. Okay. Leave your contact info on the board. Sure, absolutely. Okay, second one, jobs or yeah. free watches. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, just one last piece of advice. Like, uh, from what how uh, from what I learned from Bluestamp and from like how I was, um, how I um, it shaped my career. Um, so I was working with a couple of, uh, uh, so after I left Louis Stan, I was working, I was still working with a couple of uh, uh, students, like one of them was Jeffrey uh, Ding. So, um, so you get you get good connection. This is the first, for to, uh, to add to your point, uh, this is the first uh, platform where you can make connections. You can make connection with me, you can make connection with these guys who have experience, you can, get, you, you can make connection with your instructors. So I worked with him for over a year and a half on, um, on coding and on coding Python, coding Arduino's, and he, he he really made interesting stuff, and that really helped him um, in, in in applying for universities and also for internships. So you can make connection from building stuff. You can make connection right from now uh, and see what people are doing uh, and how you can help add value to the society. That's really important. So thank you.